What does it take to become a runner? You may be surprised to learn that it only takes putting one foot in front of the other. Okay, so maybe you're not at a point right now where you can run a marathon. With a little time and effort, though, you could be signing up for one next year. Lisa recently visited Rehoboth Beach Running Company to talk about the first steps you should take before you take those first steps out on the road. This weekend, thousands of runners will be making their way to Rehoboth Beach for the Rehoboth Beach Seashore Marathon and Half Marathon. And I am here with Mary Beth Evans. She is the owner of Rehoboth Beach Running Company. And it's been a busy week for you. It's been a busy week. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have the Marathon and Half Marathon on Saturday. And we have uh, Pack and Pick up here on uh, Friday, December 7th. So uh, it'll be a really busy week finishing up all the last minute details. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the races are actually sold out. The races are sold out. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a waiting list and now everything's shut down. We have limits mm -hmm. and um, so yes, yeah, so no one else can get in for this year. Sorry, but um, but there's always next year. Registration opens on December 31st for next year and uh, next year's date is December 7th. Okay, so I know a lot of people um, are probably watching and saying I could never run a marathon. I could never run a half a marathon and, and a lot of people say that to, to us, and me. sure, sure. Yeah. In fact, I ran the half marathon last year, and I'm, I'm wearing my shirt from the 10th annual. And, and this year, I'm running the full marathon. But really, you can. Yes, you can do it. I, I thought the same thing. My first marathon was at 36, mm -hmm. and uh, I never thought I would run a marathon. I never want to, wanted to. And some of my friends, when I was teaching, they talked me into it, and we ran the Philly Marathon together back in 2002. So uh -huh. I was 36, and uh, I they hooked me up with a training plan. They took me to a run specialty running store and someone helped me pick out shoes. And I learned all the things about gels and hydration and training and that was it. It was great. I loved the marathon. It was so fun. Yeah, yeah. So and and that's what you you start small you start small and just work your way up but sure. you but the first thing you, you do need to think about are your feet yes. and, and shoes yes. and you can help people with that yes we watch people run we do a gait analysis on the treadmill and you know help people pick out the right shoes for their support level that they need and if people don't live here and you know near Rehoboth I'm sure all over the country people have a specialty running store where mm -hmm. they can go and get some advice. Mm -hmm. The shoes are super important. Yeah, and, and different shoes for different people based yes, on Yes, yes, not what your best friend wears. Exactly. Might not work for exactly. you. Exactly. And and you were saying that sometimes people come in they like that my knees hurt or yes. my hips hurt or and right. it could be the shoes. It could be the shoes. And mm -hmm. so we try to help them and figure it out and see if it is possibly the shoes. And a lot of people, their knees don't hurt anymore, their shins don't hurt anymore. So yeah, mm -hmm. the shoes is a big start. All right, so we have the shoes. Socks. Socks are important too. Socks are very important, especially as you're getting into, you know, longer distances. You want to wear wicking socks. Uh, we have a couple brands, but I mean, any kind of wicking socks so that your feet don't stay wet and so you're less likely to get blisters and all of that stuff. So mm -hmm. socks are super important. Mm -hmm. And of course, this weekend, it's uh, forecasted to be very cold yes. for the race, but a lot of people are going to be layering up and you can help them with that. Yes. So we have, depending on you, you know, some people don't wear a lot of clothing, but mm -hmm. we have tights and an underneath layer and outer jackets and things like that so people can, you know, take off some of the layers if they get too warm. Mm -hmm. But we have hats and gloves and arm warmers and all kinds of products for every taste. Yeah. Okay, so we have on the skirts. I got the skirt right before the half marathon. We're in the half marathon and you have on uh, some new styles. Yes. These are so adorable. They're so cute and fun and really comfortable. And you can actually wear tights under them yes, so you that could. you're if not out there bare if leg running. If it's cold, it looks like it'll be in the <laughs> low 30s, so we'll will be prepared. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm a little nervous, I have to say. Sure. And, and you say that's, that's normal? It's normal. I still get nervous, you know, um, before races, mm -hmm. before marathons and triathlons and all of that. I get nervous, but then once I start, I just get excited. It's really exciting here at the start. You know, the sun's coming up, mm -hmm. and it just, uh, it's a little emotional for me, but it's so beautiful right at the bandstand. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, I get nervous every year, but it's good. I think my I'm going to get emotional when I cross that finish line. Yes, that is very <laughs> emotional. Yes, I started crying. Yeah, my mom's at the finish line hanging uh, heat sheets on people, and so all my friends are there. So last year was the first year I ran our Rehoboth Marathon. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, it's emotional. All right. Well, Mary Beth, thank you so much. Thank uh, you. Uh, Jimmy and Sydney, I'm really looking forward to Saturday, but I, I, I need to gear up. I'm going to get a new skirt and uh, probably load up on some carbs, too. So I think there's some pasta in my future. Now, if you want more information on on the race or the Rehoboth Beach Running Company, we have it all on our website, domarvalife.com. 
All right, so there you go. Oh, and by the way, Rehoboth Beach Running Company also has biking and swimming gear. And just in case you have someone that you want to go support, mm -hmm. like Lisa, <laughs> the Rehoboth Seashore Marathon and Half Marathon is beginning Saturday morning at 7 o'clock. It's going to be a great event. Good yeah. luck to Lisa. Yeah. <laughs>